Hello YouTube, I'm back with another video. I know it has been like a month or two for the next video. Um, you know, new year, new me. Um, anyway, this is the manga, art book, whatever haul that I got. Anyway, um, to cut to the chase, I got One Piece episode Ace or episode A? Ace? Episode A. Fire Fist Ace is no unknown adventure. Um, I got this because I have yet to collect anything One Piece physically and considering that I'm technically up to date with One Piece, I figured I need to eventually start collecting some sort of physical um, thing for the series. Um, is this a spoiler? It shouldn't be, come on. It's been, this is, this is pretty old news at this point. He dies, haha, <laughs> spoilers. Um, I think this is actually adapted from the novel first and then they made um, a manga and Boichi decided to um, do the art for it and Boichi's art again I did a <laughs> did an arts analysis video of him and he does such good details and his style honestly really goes well with the One Piece story I guess yeah, just talking about um, Ace's story right when he left a year before Luffy starts his journey. So I guess this one meets Deuce. I think that's the name. Or, um, I think his pirate group is called the Spade Pirates, if I recall correctly. Anyway, um, and so so it counts as um, encounter with Whitebeard, so on and so forth. They also include this chapter when Zoro fights Mihawk. I dissected a bit of this in the Boich analysis video too. If you want to, you know, go see that. Um, I really like this shot. Again, such a good shot. The details, I mean, come on. Another double page spread. All right, let me open this. Oh, it's already open. I open this. Another double page spread. Yeah, this is really good. Got White Beard, Ace, Luffy, and Gold D. Roger. Oh my God, the way he draws Blackbeard. Again, it's that lighting. He does this all the time, but it's always effective. It really um, helps since he um, gets the darkness fruit. Like him drawing with him and like large amounts of contrast is only fitting. Okay, again, more intense contrast. It has the light beaming down and boy she's just so good at that yeah basically ace trying to fight whitebeard he never could beat him though since whitebeard is was top five top ten of the verse at the time he gets the tattoo becomes part of the whitebeard pirates and then the rest is literary history and yeah episode a um one Piece. It has over a hundred volumes. I don't know if I'm ever gonna. I'm going to definitely start collecting the manga eventually. It's just that if I'm going to start collecting it, I need to come to terms with the fact that I'm gonna have to collect 100 volumes of that eventually. So I'm gonna start with you know more self-contained stories like these and work my way up to the main story eventually. But speaking of One Piece, I got another side story for One Piece. And that next side story is this Shokugeki no Sanji. I think that's what it says. Um, this is uh, another One Piece side story drawn by the artist that did Shokugeki no Soma. Um, I read all of Shokugeki no Soma and it was a fun ride from the beginning. But my God, does it turn into hot, hot garbage in like the later arcs or the final arc specifically when they start giving the chef some actual powers. Now that was funny. How? Why did? Why did they introduce a power system so late in Shokugeki no Soma? That was so weird. Anyway, um, of course they do the classic. If they eat good food, they just strip. Um, that happened in every single chapter in Shokugeki no Soma. Yeah, it's just um a Sanji-centered manga with him how he cooks. Again, it's also nice seeing um One Piece characters drawn, um, by different artists. It's sort of you know, see how artists try to get the similarities or the characteristics of the character in their own style. And yeah, I guess, yeah, just a cooking side story. Again, 
I'm starting out relatively small when collecting One Piece centered stuff since the main story is over a hundred volumes long. So I'm going to do these science stories first. And then when I get all those, then I might think about getting the One Piece manga. I just need to, again, come to terms. I'm going to have to collect a hundred volumes of that. But um, yeah, on to the next one. This next one's a bit of an odd one since I already am collecting it in English, <laughs> but I'm getting it because it's getting an anime adaptation soon. That is so leveling in Japanese. Now, I keep telling this to my friends. Oh, I got volumes one, two, and three. Um, I'm telling my friends this. This anime adaptation, it's gonna suck. I, I'm getting a strong feeling it's going to suck bad. Um, but you know, I have a thing of seeing um, dumpster fires and since i i did finish all of them the, the webtoon at least um well actually i can't even say finish because it seems like the web comic is continuing a bit because i know the light novel continues a bit farther than what we thought was the ending of the webtoon because i know i think sun jin woo gets a son or something i don't remember but the webtoon is the web comic is continuing um, despite the artists having passed away, um, it's sort of like Berserk in which I think the artists had a squad of people that helped, and since they worked together so long, they were able to they're able to mimic his art style well enough that they could continue and just and since the um, novel is technically done, they could just draw based off the source material. But yeah, we got the E rank hunter Sun Jin Woo. How do they say his name? Mizushino Shun is that okay I did hear that they were going to make him Japanese in this which is trippy considering that in this um, story they have to fight against well Sang jun eventually has to fight Japanese hunters and that, that's what I'm saying it's going to suck I think it is like if it was just for the sake of they were Korean but they just spoke Japanese you know for translation sake that'd be one thing but I heard that they made him Japanese I don't know if that's true or not I'm trying to see evidence in which they say he's Japanese but I don't think so that might be just a, a terrible rumor I heard I hope it's just a rumor but yeah again I'm gonna collect the both in um English and Japanese, since I'm assuming the Japanese ad anime adaptation is going to get it, be getting um, like the text based off of what they're saying in, in Japanese and the Japanese manga. Hopefully, I'm wrong because I'd, I'd rather they just you know called him Song Jin Woo because in the God of High School they still called Jin Mori Jin Mori, so they kept their Korean names. I don't know. I don't see the need to change it. Also, the Japanese um, volumes, they don't cover as much as the English ones does, since these are considerably thinner. But I'm just trying to see where this part ends. And this is a right bit after he gets out of the double dungeon and when he gets his level of powers. Yeah. Um, again, I think it's going to suck, the anime. Yeah, without a doubt. It's... <laughs> okay, I wouldn't say without a doubt, but um, if it does suck, I will not be surprised. I heard A1 Pictures is doing it. Um, the coloring looks, the lighting looks pretty nice, but uh, I'm not holding my breath. I'm sorry. If it is good, um, I'm glad to be wrong, but I don't think it is. Anyway, that was um, so leveling in Japanese. On to the next one. Okay, next uh, manga is something I've been collecting for a while, and that's Blue Period Volumes 8, 9, 10 and 11 now periodically I buy this um, I try to get them in bulk because this one's still saying that the anime is coming out it's been two years later already so um, yeah I'm just trying to collect this whenever I can since collecting manga is expensive um, I think we're up to volume 13 for oh my god Jesus I think, yeah we're up to volume 13 I think in blue period um, the story again, it's as, it's as good as, oh my god, this is very hard to take off. Um, I should hopefully get caught up 
with collecting blue period soon. I'm sort of all past halfway there, at least, so hopefully the rest will be easy. Um, this is eight, nine, wait, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Just gonna see seven and ten to see where I'm at, at with the story. Does, is this when he. Does he already get into the college? I think he does. Wait. No. Wait. No, not yet. I think this is when he just gets into the college. Yeah. I really, I really like these shots when, like, you see the classmates. Because that's how, uh. <laughs> As someone that's been to art school, it's sort of that vibe. You see like the different characters, the different people. Because art school, they come with characters. I'm not gonna lie. They come with all sorts of people that, you know, express their artistic creativities in their own way. Yo, I like how they showed the teachers to be real assholes. Because our teachers sort of are. But at the same time, they sort of have to be. I guess they don't sort of have to be, but critique is very strict in art college or art university or in just art school in general, especially this guy. Why does this guy have slit pupils? Why? Yeah, he, he cries a lot, but understandably so, because it is tough. It is tough going through art school. Like imagine like you got this far thinking you're talented just to get in art school and just to be put down saying oh by the way um you're you're still pretty trash and like like every time you think you're making progress it just feels like you're not like they, they tell you you're not um but he um yaguchi does through sheer effort and willpower get through this but um what i like is that they sort of gave him his own arc because he definitely needed some character development and he sort of does it sort of fleshed out of his character he even makes a friend outside of yaguchi yeah honestly he is one of the better developed characters honestly like despite him being cold like Yaguchi does his best to empathize with him and level and relate to him. Okay, yeah, and these are the volumes. I'm not going to go through all of them because, um, again, I'm going to need you guys to read the story yourself and find out what happens. What is this? Okay. Anyway, yeah, Blue Period 7, 8, 9, 10. I hope to be caught up soon on to the next one. Okay, the next set of manga is something I've also been continuing or trying to catch up for a while is Amado Romi Barmaid. Oh, rest of the people are made from four, five, six. Oh, just six and seven. Okay. Um, I don't know if I told you the guys this. We probably saw, I probably said this in a video or two, but I do have a hobby as um, not bartending necessarily, but um, I guess mixology would be accurate. You've probably seen in my Instagram stories that I go to bars a lot and drink a lot relax i'm not an alcoholic i just love the um bar side atmosphere and vibe especially if you you know how to conversate with the bartenders don't be don't be weird because um that's very easy to do but if you know how to like you know be a normal human being and conversate with people normally um, it's actually pretty nice to you know talk with the bartender don't don't trauma dump but you know i get a few drinks in loosen up the screws in your brain release a bit of the um, inhibitions just don't drunk speak if you can help it also i'm not really caught up to this story i'm actually reading as i collect the volume so i don't know what's going on well maybe up to five ish i sort of know what's going on or well, at this point i'm caught up this one um the main character helps her friend in her hotel bar because the was it a hotel bar or a restaurant bar i don't know the point is it got pretty busy and the main character is a god at bartending so she single-handedly helps an understaffed hotel 
to get um, the drinks out because she is a god at bartending. So yeah, um, also the art, yeah, I mentioned the art's pretty as hell. Like how they do the food, how they show like, the colors are just vibrant and also usually at the beginning, they have like these spreads in which they show a character or two, They're, like having a drink, making a drink. I just like the colors. And of course it's, it's the main cast of females. Honestly, it's a pretty female centered manga but again i still like it it's really enjoyable art's really good honestly yeah since i haven't read it yet i don't know really what's gonna happen so <laughs> i'll read this on my free time on to the next one okay the next and final manga that i have it's a bit underwhelming but i've been meaning to get this and it's the death note short stories um it's pretty random i have the death note all in one collection um so I tech, you can say technically I have all of Death Note already. I might eventually get the single volumes when I have an actual bookshelf, but that is for a later thing, for another time and place. Um, when he's a kid, when he's older. Um, I'm going to say this now. Um, this is probably after the story when I see um, Nier grow up, and there's, there's another person with the Death Note. Nier had now taken the um the role of l says he don't want to do this because it's boring and the guy i think ends up killing himself or something which is that's a story that's just a, i guess an epilogue of the death note story now this story with this dude <laughs> i'll tell you right now <laughs> i did not like it at all it is so <sighs> underwhelming I guess yeah he's smart he it's pretty i guess it's a pretty cute story i just don't like how it ends it's like ryuk is just making things up as it goes this volume it even has donald trump in it ain't that some ish but um lo and behold um he's able to get like a lot of money without actually using the death note but um, Ryuk was like adding an extra rule or something saying that I, I don't know if you sell the death. I don't know. The point is he made an extra rule in which the main character breaks. So he dies. And that's <laughs> stupid. But, you know, some like four comas, I guess. A small story with L when he was a kid. And this was, I think, the one shot before death Note became what it was. Either the one shot or like <laughs> something that was like the idea of Death Note before became something completely different. The point is, yeah, I just wanted to get this to add to the collection because I do like the artist Takashi Obata. So I thought, why not? Um, it's only one volume. But yeah, that's all the manga I have. Um, I don't have any, com well, I do actually have two comics that I'm gonna show up. So that'll be next. Okay, so for comics, I have this. These are huge. Invincible Ultimate Collection Volumes 1 and 2. Now, I don't know if you guys saw the Invincible trailer for Season 2 drop. So, I am excited to start collecting this. I already read the first, like, well, the first volume of the Ultimate Collection. And to be fair, I saw the first season, so the first season roughly covers the first volume of the Ultimate Collection, roughly. Because I think this ends right, yeah, the first season ends right around here, where Omni Man leaves after he beats the brakes off of Mark. But you know, the art style is so different from what it looks like later, honestly. Yeah, also discuss goes on a bit what happens after. And yeah. And this is where season one literally ends. Now it's all I think the ultimate collection has like eleven or twelve volumes. I am not entirely caught up. 
Um, the changes are weird. Like, I don't know why they made Amber black. I don't know what the reason or point of that was. Um, <laughs> I guess inclusivity, maybe? But I'm wondering if they're really going to attempt to adapt everything in Invincible because it is quite a large story. I'm only hoping that the popularity of Invincible is big and long and strong enough to get through all of this because it is a long story from what I've seen. Like, <sighs> like they have to get to the Viltrumites and all that. And even after that, I think Mark has like a kid. I, I don't, I hope, I don't know if there's going to be enough seasons to get through all of it. They might end up doing their own thing, like branching off like the story or doing something, yeah, you know, completely different or skip the middle chunk to the beginning with Omni-Man, skip the meat, bring, get the Viltrumites in, skip some of that. You know, or they might just end where the Viltrumites like come in, but there's still so much more even after. It's just a lot that goes on in this comic from what I've heard. Um, it's, it's still like spots and like fuzzy details here and here so i don't know really what's in between so hopefully by reading this i get to see what's going on so yeah invincible ultimate collection volumes one and two on to now the art books so yeah let's see those the first art book well i don't know if it's technically an art book i guess it is an art book yeah it's an art book it's with this um steam reverie in amber by Kuroi Mori. Um, I don't know if this is a... Well, what does it say in the back? Beautiful full color steampunk art book and manga collection, including all 22 major arcana as removable tarot cards. Oh man, I'm so sick of tarot cards. Um, I'm gonna thank Persona for that, since Persona has been a major part of my life. Okay. I think this person did some art in Final Fantasy. I'm not sure. I might have to fact check that, but I do like the steampunk aesthetic too. Only second to, um, of course, cyberpunk because um, sci-fi is my favorite genre. Um, oh, they are doing it by the Zodiacs. That's another thing that I've seen so much about, like people's iteration of the Zodiacs. Um, I'm a Cancer, by the way. July is my birthday. Just letting you guys know. Um, let's see them all. Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, and some manga bits. I'm not going to read all this now since I don't really care. Asuka, Waitress, Quitting Player. Okay. It's sort of like classes i guess i don't know if this is part of a bigger story oh okay so this is the the zodiac not the zodiac the tarot card portion fool magician i'm gonna go through this very quickly emperor hierophant hermit strength the hangman the devil tower star moon sun judgments and the world okay I'm skipping all this some more manga portions some illustrations this really looks reminiscent to Final Fantasy stuff what is the back here oh my god oh removable ones I am not doing that I will lose these if I take these out yeah I'm keeping this in the book oh I'm keeping this in I'm, I just pray that these don't come off accidentally I'm, uh, yeah, I'm keeping these in. I'm going to lose them, and I like to keep the full set. So yeah, this is a, a arbitrary art book. I saw it because I did like the art style, and again, I do love the steampunk aesthetic. So I end up guy getting it. And it's hardcover too, so it's pretty much worth it. All right, on to the next art book. Okay, next art book I got is this. Um, I think it's, it's called Tut yeah um it's our book from super annie it's a bit dirty because the plastic sort of opened or got ripped open so honestly i'm not too much of a stickler for minor like dust parts of art books since i do have a collection and i'm gonna hold on to this collection for a while so naturally they're going to get dirty and i have fully accepted that that is probably what's gonna happen 
Um, so it's in Korean, so that's the first Korean art book that I got. I've been told that this is a, that I'd like this, but I didn't see the inside, so I'm curious. And to be fair, from the jump, I already like the art style. It's very not typical anime. It has like very realistic features. <laughs> Let me back up. So it says touch, so I'm assuming that the illustrations here are going to be very intimate. Yeah. Super intimate. I only wish I could read Korean. Oh wait, nope, translate in English. Never mind. Okay, this that made the book ten times better. Because um for the next art book, it's something sorta like this, just in Japanese. Um but I do like um pieces that have like a a narrative, like or like a story to it. The titles and the bit of like I guess details or explanation to it is a nice touch, honestly. That's you know that level of depth to the story question mark i'm assuming this is like a story of a boyfriend girlfriend got the cover art here yeah this more or less these two characters being very intimate i'm gonna read this later off screen do they get older oh, okay i thought like they get pregnant or have a child or something. That'd be like, whoa. <laughs> I do like this though. The clouds, the background, the color palette. Oh, warm, a very warm color palette. All right, what's the later parts? Some sketches. Yeah, this is okay, I'll admit. Oh, some process. P um, steps too, very nice. Oh, what's this? What is this? Ooh. A lot of artworks I'm getting always have this pull-out page recently, I realized. I better take care of that. I do not want this to rip. Uh, it's, a, it's a very cute, feels good um, art book. It's small, but it is hardcover. And um, the person that recommended this was right. I do like this. It's really nice. I like the style. The color palette's good. It's uh, like nice sentiment, emotional narrative pieces, which is the sort of thing that I really like on um, watching. Now onto what I sort of think is like personally sort of the Japanese version of this, or at the, or at the very least how it's set up. And that next one is this one, Moment by Macaron K. Macaron K artworks. Um, I say that this is sort of similar, also has that sunsetty warm with like blue purples with like nice orange reds at the bottom type color palette and but the thing is with this it is full on pieces it sort of showcases these two. Oh, if you already didn't notice i already opened this already so i do sort of know what's inside but i'm just sharing it with you yeah it has these two characters and what i like about it is that um they also have like the title and like a few words to well the few words to describe it is the title so it is very sentimental and intimate and i am a sucker for that type of thing personally especially when it comes to art oh i love this oh i love this the use of lighting here is very good yeah, this is a super good one too. The lighting, how it fix her hair. Sort of a sad. I don't know if she's cr she's crying, but I don't know if she's unhappy. Yeah, sort of like a sad, unhappy. I'm gonna go with you type thing. What does it say? So sweet and sentimental. I eat this up. And yeah, basically that's most of the first half of this book. Later it um, goes into more manga things. This is, this, this manga part portion does seem a bit more lighthearted, but also has like, you know, these nice sentimental pieces. Personally, I, again, I really like this one. Anything, any narrative art, like art books that have just like a narrative, not really like dedicated to an anime or manga, just illustrations by this person. I really like, I really like this one. Um, so yeah, that was Moments by Macaron, Macaron K. Okay. On to the next one. Okay, so the next art book is this, which is called, what? 
Uka, I, Nina. At least that's the person's name. I'm assuming. Yeah, that is the person. I, I bet what the art book's called Uka. Alright. Ooh. Now, this is one of the cases where I got the art book mainly because I like how the cover looks. Really good. And also, if you've seen my latest piece, you know that I love having crazy color in my art pieces. And this is sort of in the same vein. I really like this. Just wish that the binding it was a bit better, but you know, it's hard to it's hard it's really hard to nail this type of binding with pieces. What is this? Oh, they're holes. Okay, I don't know why. I thought these were lips. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, what is going on? This is a really nice one. Like these textures here are really nice. They're really soft curves and like the art style here. Not a lot of sharp edges. All of these are very cover worthy, I realize. Any one of these pieces could honestly be the cover illustration, honestly. What is this page here? Oh, what the hell is this? I realize, um, too, that some art, art books have like a manga portion because um, I think it's sort of a way for the author to, you know, have a, a quick story or a quick, easy narrative without making a full pieces. Because in isolation, these stories could tell like one story, but a manga, well, a story in one page, but a manga, the manga really helps like you know flesh out like a good quick easy narrative this is really nice too nice textured piece oh my god this is super good the emotion on this one the angle too it's you know how it is to get that down up angle without making it look ugly <laughs> they nailed it though this looks really good. All right, I'm not gonna look at all of this. Cause I do, again, I need you guys to get the art book. Was that, was that One Piece? It is One Piece. Yeah. Anyway, Uka by I, Nina. So yeah, that, I think I have one more art book to go. Okay, and the last art book for this haul is this, the Pokemon Special art book now if you guys didn't know pokemon is officially ending well let me not say ending the J ash's journey or satoshi's ending if you watch in japanese his and his um story is concluding and i'll be the first to say thank god i love you ash but you are still 10 years old my dude but he did win everything in the end he did become the pokemon master it was about time but this, if they decide to do a new anime, I wouldn't be upset if they went back all the way to um, Kanto and did this story. And I mean, like, why do they, why do they start their art book like that? They started with Crystal. That's weird. Anyway, it has a pullout poster of all the dex holders from Red. I'm gonna say this is green. I know green and blue change a lot, but I'm gonna say this is green, blue, yellow, black, black to um, ruby, sapphire, emerald, um, black, um, white, white to silver, platinum, chris or crystal, gold. You know, just the dex holders for the main games. And what I like about it is that these characters have a personality. I mean, I mean, and by that I mean completely different personalities um i'm not up to date with the pokemon manga i think i got as far as fire red and leaf green because i, I think i was getting burned out because i was binging the manga and the um ruby and sapphire arc was crazy it was absolute nuts and i mean that in the good way it was very epic um slightly better I don't know if it was slightly better than gold and silver and crystal. That arc was pretty good. But um, I do like the story, the stories the manga have. Everything has like a level of gravity to them. Like things are serious in this manga. And that, and by that I mean people, 
and Pokemon, I think, die a lot in this. And people are always out to kill you, people in this manga, I realize. Especially Team Rocket, or just the bad guy teams in general. We got the em emerald clothing. We got red. Green and yellow. We got blue. What is this? What is this? Oh, oh, another paw page. Oh, okay, that's what that was. Okay. But yeah, it, um, it might be like a slow read at the beginning, but it picks up. It really does. Um, and again, since Ash's story is ending, it'd be nice to see. I don't know if they're probably not going to do this, but if they do like go back and decide like, you know what we, we could do? We could animate the manga and they go back to Kanto. That'd be a nice introduction to the people that got into Pokemon now and a nice reintroduction for the old classic fans. Again, I doubt that they're going to do this, but if they do, that'll be amazing. Um, again, I didn't get this far, but it's nice to see um, the Pokemon manga really try to keep up with the games. Uh, yeah, it's like a Pokemon Rangers manga. Again, these art books always include like a manga section to them, I realized. But yeah, that was the Pokemon special or Pokemon Adventures art book. Um, only got this because I am invested in Pokemon. Not as much as I used to be because um, I did stop playing after after black and black and white or X and Y. I stopped playing around there, but um, I do have a, a degree of investment with Pokemon. With that being said, that's all the art books. Um, thank you so much for, um, let me just put this, let me just put this here. Thank you for watching another haul. Um, I know usually you guys want to watch a certain type of video from me, but you know, I like to sprinkle this if possible at the end of every month to show you what I got. And you know, since I do like collecting art books, I collect them a lot. I think it is a nice thing to show you guys. Um, I'm also gonna separate some of these art books and have dedicated shorts to them. So, so you know, sort of give a, a quick showcase of what they are. Um, but yeah, you'll see that too in the future, sprinkled here and there. Anyway, if you liked this video, um, comment if you want, like, and subscribe. I'd really like it if you'd subscribe. You don't have to, but if you want to, that'll be nice. Um, social media accounts are at the bottom description, my Instagram, Twitter, the Twitch I have yet to use, the Patreon that I still need to work on. It's all in the description if you want to support. It's all there. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.